Hi, this is Pastor Jeff at Hometown Church, and today I'm going to talk about victory and small groups. I'm going to start with one of my favorite stories about perspective and victory, and this comes from a book entitled Leadership That Works by Leith Anderson. It says this, June 6, 1994 was the 50th anniversary of the Allied invasion of Normandy, which began the historic World War II battle to liberate continental Europe from Nazi control. All the major television networks ran special anniversary programs that included interviews with aging veterans. One of the programs paired two contrasting interviews back to back. The first interview was with a Marine who landed on Omaha Beach and he recalled the horrors that sounded like scenes from Saving Private Ryan. The aging veteran recalled looking around at the bloody casualties and concluding, we're going to lose. The next interview was with a U.S. Army Air Corps reconnaissance pilot who flew over the whole battle area. He viewed the carnage on the beaches and saw the sacrifices on the hills, but he also witnessed the successes of the Marines and the penetration of the paratroopers and the effectiveness of the aerial bombardment. He looked at everything that was happening and concluded, we're going to win. It was the same battle, but a different perspective. And uh, we are, we're facing some losses, I'd say, because of the coronavirus in particular that we've never experienced before. Uh, lots of things are being canceled and uh, church is, is different than it has been. Uh, but I want to read a couple of quotes to you and, and just remind you of some opportunities that we have. Um, so the first, it's 2 Corinthians 2.14 says, Thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ. So Christ is our hero. He is our champion. And he's leading us towards victory. So start with that premise. Uh, somebody named Richard Sibes wrote, There can be no victory where there is no combat, where there's no struggle, there can be no victory. George Mueller said, God delights to increase the faith of his children. We ought, instead of wanting no trials before victory, no exercise for patience, to be willing to take them from God's hands as a means. Trials, obstacles, difficulties, and sometimes even defeats are the very food of faith. And then this last quote from Warren Wearsby says, Nothing paralyzes our lives like the attitude that things can never change. We need to remind ourselves that God can change things. Outlook determines outcome. If we see only, only the problems, we will be defeated. But if we see the possibilities in the problems, we can have victory. So, I'm going to tell you about a possibility that we have in this uh, coronavirus virus problem. And the possibility is deeper, sweeter fellowship in small groups. Um, our small groups this coming fall will be meeting in homes and socially distancing. They'll be meeting virtually uh, via Zoom or some other program. Or uh, a hybrid of the two, that's number three. And then the fourth option is a lot of folks will also be meeting here at church in social distancing. Uh, our group, Sue and my, my group, will probably meet here at church and uh, we might go through a biblical justice um, curriculum together. And I'm really excited, but I think we have opportunities in our small groups to connect more vitally and vibrantly than we ever have before, partly because we need each other. We've had a lot of separation, a lot of isolation. So small groups are uh, preparing to kick off uh, I met with all of our small group leaders over Zoom last night, and I just want to encourage you guys to stay tuned and get prepared to jump into a small group, whether it's virtually, whether it's in homes with social distancing, a hybrid, or here at church. I really want to encourage you to take advantage of this obstacle or struggle and try something new or get involved and get engaged dynamically in a small group. So consider that. And uh, let's experience victory in Jesus together. Love you guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.